Game 3 endings, leave, crazy, credit, scenes, changes, let's see what worse you has to say about this and check this out. And in today's video, we're going to continue our coverage on Ant-Man 3, aka Quantum Mania. We're going over a major plot ending and two post credit scenes. The source is pretty credible because the plot leak came from the same source and it turned out to be real based on everything we know, based on the dialogue leak and everything else. So, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we do. On a daily basis, if you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know down below. How hyped are you for Ant-Man 3 and the true start to Phase 5? Jonathan Majors playing Kang? Because we've already seen him be absolute fire, playing He Who Remains at the end of Loki. And also, if you could, check us out on Instagram, at Warstew. Would love to hit 30,000 followers on Instagram this year. Also, I'm doing it. I'm starting to cut down to get shredded to bring the six pack back. So, if you want to follow my little transformation on Instagram stories, feel free also. If you could, follow me on Twitter, WashUG. It's by far my smallest platform, which I'm trying to grow, trying to engage on there. I do actually reply to the majority of the comments if I can, and I do respond to DMs on all platforms as long as you're respectful. So, Let's get into this video. So it's worth saying the information isn't directly coming from Marvel or anyone linked to the project or anyone working on the project. So take it with a pinch of salt. But it is worth saying I do somewhat believe this information because it's the same source that got the actual plot the correct. And also later this week, either on Thursday or on Friday, I will be releasing a comprehensive plot leak for the full movie because the premiere is coming up very soon and because I may be getting a screener very soon, I will be dropping a full plot leak video it'd be very long, probably like 20 minutes 30 minutes long, going over everything trying to be as comprehensive and good as I can as I'm trying to up the quality when it comes to editing on this channel so, let's break this down, I'm also going to add little notes here from how this correlates to the other plot leak that's confirmed to be real because there is a bit of an ending scene here before it breaks into what the actual post credit scene is. So let's break it down. Modok, aka Darren, dies after having a change of heart because Cassie calls him a <laughs> Now, because of YouTube, I may have to bleep that word because it's killing pretty strict. So, D-I-C-K, if... I had to believe it. So on the other ending explained that we did, it actually said that Modoc pretends to die or fakes his death in a roundabout way and doesn't end up dying and ends up tricking both the Ant family and Kang the Conqueror. So I'm very skeptical about this line here. I'm actually quite skeptical about these parts here. Not so much skeptical about the post credit scenes, but the ending parts are... Eh, bit inconsistent to the other plot leaks, but we love to do this on the channel, don't we? Yes, we do. At the end of the film, Kang the Conqueror is potentially killed, but we know Kang the Conqueror is the main Kang. He's like the prime Kang. He's the Kang that's going to be in charge of Kang's dynasty, and he does get out of the quantum realm 100%, leave Scott Lang and Hope in there. So it says, after being potentially killed, being kicked into his ship, the multiversal engine by Hope, while it is exploding due to Scott hitting it with the pin particles. Cassie rescues Scott and Hope from being stranded in the quantum realm. Now this could actually be true, because I have been told indirectly that there is one or two things in this movie that hasn't been leaked anywhere. Maybe Scott is happy, but begins to have a crisis after remembering that Kang said something bad was coming and that everyone would die if he didn't get out of the quantum realm. So we know Kang said to Janet that he would go after the universe she's from and destroy that universe first. Now, personally, we here at the channel, we don't believe that because 
that essentially will be the Kang's dynasty. So, do I believe that Kang the Conqueror dies? No, I, I don't believe that for one second, but, I mean, the source is very good. It could be true. It might not be true. We here at the channel, uh, I don't know what to say. We're going to talk about this more on a video that we're either going to do on Thursday and Friday when we break down everything in one go, and it'll probably end up being a 30-minute video, but I want to do it for a while. So, the potential post credit scenes are the following. Now, we have said multiple times throughout the channel covering Ant-Man 3, there will be multiple Kangs, and literally everyone under the sun has said that beforehand. So, the Council of Kangs gather discussing how the Kang they exiled has been killed. Okay, so I, I presume that means the Kang that's been stuck in the Quantum Realm, aka Kang the Conqueror, who's supposed to be the most powerful one. The Council is led by Immortus and includes Ramatut and a possible variation or version of Scarlet Sanctorium. However, they are not red. They're not happy that their exiled variant was killed by others and vowed to stop them. Our heroes who have started to meddle in the multiverse, as they may kill everything they've built, interconnect timelines, occursions. They call upon all the Kangs for support in preparation for a dastardly plan. The scene ends in a coliseum full of Kangs. Variants including a scroll version. Now this could actually be legit, but we do know the main Kang as said, but we can't actually believe Kevin Feige or Peyton Reed. The main Kang, the Conqueror in Ant-Man 3 will actually be the main Kang in Kang's dynasty. And we don't know how this plays out. He could actually die because they can play with the time. They can go back, they can go forward, they can wreck on everything because they're in control of the time. So this really could happen. There's a lot of YouTubers who have spoke about the Kang councils before. Our friends over at GeekyCast have spoke about it before. Kinder Colts talk about it before. Marvelous Wave has spoke about it before. A lot of different YouTubers in the community have spoke about it before is all I'm trying to say here. So check out their channels and yeah, a lot of people spoke about it in great depth. I've not actually ever said the Council of Kangs personally myself, but multiple Kangs is that much difference. Like I say, not a huge comic book guy, but I've started to read comics after getting some advice of a fellow YouTuber properly. I mean, predominantly I'm more of a DC guy when it comes to comics like DC Rebirth, but we're trying to read some of the Marvel stuff, specifically the Kang stuff and the stuff that leads up to Secret Wars to get some ideas and the, like new some new X-Men stuff to do get some more ideas, content, and also just to expand the knowledge. So the second post credit reads like this. We see a stage and then Victor, timely, another Kang, Varian, as he makes a presentation to an audience, he has his classic moustache and the set looks like the 30s or 40s. In the crowd watching Victor on stage, is Loki looking terrified and Mobius looking confused? Oh wait, Warshtu, are you talking to yourself? Behave, lad. No, but Warshtu said a few videos back that I was told about a Loki scene appearing, and this is very similar to the scene that I was told about, but I said I wouldn't say anything, but seeing as this is out there now, I can actually say I was told about this scene a while ago. So is it true? I don't know if it's true, but like technically this is the way you would vet it. Like this has now appeared online. I was told this privately a while ago, hence why I said there's a scene involving Loki. Now we're getting other people. My time to shine. Wannabe has uh, mentioned it before. Daniel Rickman has mentioned that Victor Timely's going to appear in Loki season two. Oh, the stars are aligning. Or is everyone being told the same thing because it's true? We don't know, but this is very fascinating. Are we gonna get, are we gonna get the Council of Kang? Very interesting. It's pretty much confirmed that Victor Timely will play a part in Loki season two in some capacity. So that's very interesting. I would love to know what all you guys, what all you warheads down below think. Now also there is some information about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I most likely won't put this in the title. Now it's worth saying that that movie should have came out a very long time ago. It really is worth saying. The fact that Adam Warlock was sent out before Infinity War tells you how long ago that movie should have came out such a long time ago that I'm not actually expecting Kang to have any kind of variance inside. 
that movie, although if Kevin Feige is doing everything that every other YouTuber is reporting about, the fact that Feige is making changes to make everything more cohesive and make everything work better, there might be some changes made to that movie at some point. So, this is apparently the trailer that's coming. The trailer is set to the song, Since You've Been Gone, by Rainbow Epic. It opens up with an introduction to Star-Lord and his team, explaining his love for the long-lost Gamora, who came back a total... I can't say that word because of YouTube. Nev concurs that the gist of the story. We will see Daniela, character in a white lab suit. She has black hair, which is shaped almost like a Spock from Star Trek. Her skin is red. It probably just a cameo, though. The High Evolutionary is on a mission to create the perfect society. Rocket disagrees and says the High Evolutionary just hated the way things are. We see a clip of young Rocket being tested on an alarm, becoming subject 89P13. Nebula has a cool arm that can morph into a blade. Now we will go over the plot leak for the whole movie at some point. We've already done it, but we'll do it again when the next trailer comes out or maybe before that. We see Drax all beat up. He may die. Careful with split. I don't want to ruin your life. This has nothing to do with Dave Batista coming out and saying he's done. He actually does die in the movie, but we are kind of a spoiler channel at some point. We see Adam Warlock destructively flying through Counter Earth Town. We see the Guardians land at in the first trailer. I'm literally reading this how it says. We see a new clip of Lila. Giggling. Our first look at Cosmo in the film. I can't wait to see. Cosmo, that little dog was freaking awesome in the Guardians of the Galaxy game on the PlayStation 5 that I played last year. Groot and Nebula both put their arm across their chest in salute, like what Galenian did for the Yundia funeral in Hoya Matur. This seemed to be a somber goodbye scene, Drax's death scene, a funeral scene. The High Evolutionary floats around, looking like something from Overwatch. It ends with a funny scene where Gamora says Peter is describing... A different girl, someone more like Nebula. Peter looks at Nebula and tells her she has pretty eyes. Nebula says, my father replaced them as a form of torture. Peter says, he made a really good choice. Now, I'm going to go over the next bit pretty fast, but we will be covering parts of this in another video later on this week. So, Adam Driver is not even close to being a front runner. I said he would. I said he wouldn't be close. Diego Luna was up and runner up at one point, but not anymore. Dan Piddle is the number one choice for Reed right now. Marvel wants the team to have people of colour in it. We went over the Fantastic Four plot yesterday. So, yeah, please check that out at some point. X-Men 97 is to, is to go on for two seasons at least. Cool. A lot of what Cosmic Circus said about the Wong show is actually true. It is internally rumoured that because of the love for the character, someone will return in some shape or form in just a cameo. Almost all movies after Kang's Dynasty will be set within the Battle World universe. That's interesting. The next one's going to be pretty cool, if this is true. There are very early talks to make Secret Wars two parts and two movies instead of pushing it into a five-hour movie. Cool story, bro. Yeah, that's pretty much unofficially confirmed anyway, because why wouldn't they? You could make a bunch of money twice and what, rather than once. Doctor Strange 3 is happening before Secret Wars. Pretty obvious. Now, the next bit is kind of ludicrous. Phase 7 might be put into this saga... Source is unsure. So, yeah, sorry that I went over the last two bits about the Guns of Galaxy Volume 3 and the little inklings of information because this video is really about Ant Man 3 ending scene and post credit mm. scene. The other stuff we can go over in a different video in full depth. So, like always, guys, let us know what do you think about this new information? And I will be dropping that full comprehensive video about the full plot leak for Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. It's going to be like a 25 30 minute video. It's going to take me so long to make. So, yeah, let me know if you want it down below, guys. But, like always, check us out on Instagram first at WarsTube. Check us out on Twitter at WarsTube. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you. Later. Please subscribe, like this video, have a great day.